I want to introduce you to the Productivity Bible. Hey everyone, it's Productivity Doc coming at you with tips and tricks for healthcare professionals and others to help you avoid burnout, get more done in less time, and make more time for the more important things in life. This week, what I wanted to uh, talk to you about was a book that's uh, often um, touted as being the Productivity Bible amongst the productivity community. It's a book that if you watch enough videos or listen to enough podcasts about productivity, someone's going to mention getting things done or the GTD system or David Allen somewhere in there. And for good reason. Um, he's been around since at least the 80s. He has a system for pr productivity called the Getting Things Done System or GTD, which is uh, really quite helpful in terms of getting all that junk and that noise out of your head doing a brain dump, getting it down on paper in a way that you can process it and make use of that information. I had heard quite a lot about the book, Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen. And eventually I got around to reading the book and I did find it uh, really quite helpful. I find that it has an excellent, if not a little bit complicated system for making sure that you are getting all the things that you need to get done and that you're not dropping any balls which can make you a lot more reliable and uh, also can really help reduce stress for you david allen is considered by many in the productivity community to be the productivity guru he argues in the book that in your mind you have many open loops and what this means is basically things that you have in your mind that haven't been dealt with yet so like, oh, I gotta put milk on, on my grocery list, or I forgot to order this test for this, this patient, or I need to fill out these forms for some other patient. And he argues that if you keep all this stuff inside of your mind, you're just gonna be chasing the mice around in your head thinking about it. And it's always gonna come out at the most annoying time, like when you're in the middle of uh, a patient interaction, or maybe you're lying in bed trying to get to sleep, you're gonna start thinking about these things over and over again. So he argues that the best thing for you to do is to get these things out of your mind, do a brain dump, get it down into onto either a piece of paper into an, or into an electronic system so that you can deal with it later. David Allen has two sayings. One of them is, your mind is a crappy office. And the other saying is, your mind is for having ideas, not keeping them. So like I said before, the best thing to do is instead of keeping all that stuff up inside your mind, write it down on a piece of paper, put it in your inbox, and then deal with it later. So what is the solution to all these open loops? The solution is to get it out of your mind and into a trusted system. And this is where the GTD or getting things done system or, uh, comes in. So what do you do in this system? Well, as the book says, you want to get this stuff out of your head and into a external system. In this case, he talks about getting things out of your head and into an inbox, whether or not that's a list of things, or he actually talks about having each item as almost like its own piece of paper, like a sticky note or a uh, sheet of paper. What you do to process this is you take a look at the things on your list. If it's garbage, you toss it in the garbage. If something you don't need, just get rid of it. If it's something that you can handle in two minutes and you have two minutes, get it done, get it out of your list. If it's something that's gonna take a little bit longer, then you can put it into the four box system, which includes reference, next actions, someday maybe, and waiting for. So if it's something that you don't need now, but you may need in the future, you wanna file that into your reference system. If it's something that you do need to do in the next little bit, then you put that into your next action system. If you need to do it a little bit later, if you have an excellent to-do list app like Todoist, you can say, uh, you know, don't show this to me for about a month. And that can be quite helpful. Um, if it's something like maybe an email that you've sent to someone or something where you're waiting for a reply to someone, in order to get it done, then you put that into the waiting for folder. And if it's something that you may want to deal with at one point or do at some point, but you don't quite have the time right now, then you put it into the someday maybe folder. Now, a very important aspect of this system is the weekly review, where you 
go through a number of steps just to make sure that everything is done, nothing is missed. And this is uh, how you make sure that the system stays, you know, well-rounded and trusted uh, so that you're less likely to miss anything. This is often quite challenging for people and I may talk about my system for doing a weekly review in a future episode if there's interest for that. You can also file tasks under different aspects such as context, location, energy level, person that you need to complete the task, place that you need to complete the task. And in this way, it can make it a lot easier for you to crunch your tasks. Let's say you've got like five tasks that you need to do when you're on your computer. You can put the, put the computer context for your tasks to get it done that way. Overall, I found this book quite excellent. And I gotta say a short video cannot quite do it justice. So get out there, pick yourself up a copy and check it out for yourself. So if you found this helpful, hit that like button down below comment down below on any videos that you'd like to see me do in the future and if you want more tips and tricks to help you survive healthcare and avoid burnout hit that subscribe button down below have a good one and i hope you enjoy your next week bye bye